Two weeks ago, we took a look at a reader's code in JS Quick Hits 34. I refactored the code to a single line using a ternary operator, but my friend Tom pointed out that there's actually an even shorter way to do it by using a simple logical operator. Specifically, like this. So, what's happening there? Well, we know we want memo to either have card.hours or zero added to it. What we're taking advantage of here is a shortcut that you can use if one of the options of your ternary operator is just to return the data being compared. So if your ternary operator looks like this, you can shorten it to those double bars are an OR logical operator, meaning card.hours or zero. You're probably most used to seeing logical operators in IF blocks, but they can be used for comparison in many places. Your JavaScript engine will automatically understand that you're saying set the hours variable to the number contained in the card object if that number exists, otherwise set it to zero. In the above reducer code, we also move the shortcut into the parseInt function, which we could also do with the ternary operator. Since in either case, we're going to want a numerical return value, and running parseInt on zero just gives, well, zero. This keeps us from having to write the following more confusing code. That's not as good as the code above, although it's still arguably less confusing than a full ternary operator is. There are a lot of places you can use this kind of shortcut. Let's take a look at another quick example, one which you might have used before without even really thinking of it as a shortcut. What this is saying is, if the input object has a val property, and if that property's length is greater than 1, return true. Otherwise, return false. This can also be expressed as a ternary operator like this. Again, this is just your JavaScript engine doing some of the legwork for you by making comparisons without you having to spell every single thing out. Here are some other simple comparisons. We'll get rid of this so that we can do some console logging. Save that. We should get true, false, true, true. True, false, true, true. Note that the last one is true because we've used the or symbol, so only one of the two conditions needs to be true in order for the full expression to return true. So I hope this lesson brings you two reminders. The first is that comparisons are generally handy and worth considering while writing your code. The second is that there is often room for refactoring and simplification, even in refactored code. See you next week.